Skyline Chili, my favorite place to eat when in Ohio. Here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today, we are still in Cincinnati, Ohio. And because we're in Cincinnati, Ohio, I wanted to stop at my favorite restaurant in Ohio, which is Skyline Chili. And Skyline Chili, if you don't know, I didn't know, is Cincinnati-style chili. So it doesn't have any beans. It's basically just ground beef, and it has like a cinnamon seasoning. It's really, 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 really good. The first time I had it, I was in Toyhio, which is in Northeast Ohio, and I actually had to drive like an hour out of the way just to get it because I wanted to try it so badly. So I drove like towards Cleveland, and they had a couple locations. Now we're in Cincinnati, so we're in like the heart of Cincinnati Chiliville. So it just happened to coincide that the Cincinnati Bengals were in the Super Bowl that same weekend that Toyhio was going on, so I had like a whole Super Bowl fest <laughs> a few days prior so while I'm here I wanted to check it out um I already had skylight chili on this trip actually um when I was driving in and meeting Jacob here I asked him to pick up skyline chili for me and him I mean he got it too <laughs> but I got it after him and he already had his so I had that waiting for me and now as I'm leaving Cincinnati I need to get it one more time while I can because you only get it so often and Jacob ordered a Chilito which is another thing that I've never had apparently okay so originally normally <laughs> you get like a plate of spaghetti and it's called a three-way, a four-way, or a five-way. And so the three-way is a plate of spaghetti, the Cincinnati chili, and then cheese. So a whole concoction. A four-way, you can add onion, and a five-way, you can add beans. So I think those are the only ways. I don't think there's a six-way that I'm aware of. <laughs> so we're gonna head in and go get some Cholitos because I've never had that. Yay! Skyline also has a drive-thru, which is nice. So I think we're gonna do that because there is a toy store I wanna check out after this. And so we'll grab this for lunch and then go look at toys and it'll be a very good day. The drive-thru is actually really, really busy. <laughs> what time is it? Like six o'clock? Yeah. It's um dinner time in Skyline Chili Land. So, yeah. Oh, since there's a lot of people here, I can show you the menu here. Okay, so Skyline Chili is really known for their cheese. Like, look at all that cheese that's on top of these. So you can get conies, and those have the Skyline Chili on them as well as the cheese. You can get that plain of spaghetti that's on the bottom right that I was talking about. Oh, you can get a three-way with a coney. That's intense. And then it looks like they also have nachos now. That number four is a lot of food, but somehow I thought there would be more calories than that. I mean, that's a lot of calories, but it's a lot better than I thought it would be. All right. So we made it across the street. I actually had to um, like turn right and then like do a loopy round just to get across the street to park because traffic's really crazy right now. I don't know if it's always crazy in this area, but it sure is crazy right now. So um, after this, I'm going to go film the toy store. But meanwhile, meanwhile, Skyline Chili. So like I said, you get free oyster crackers with a little label and then hot sauce in every bag. I've never used either, but it is an option. So 
Here's one. And this one's marked spag. <laughs> Which must be for spaghetti. So let's try the plain one first. And Jacob said I should order two because they're little guys, which it looks like they are. They're kind of like a taco rather than a burrito or like a really small burrito. So let's see. It's messy, <laughs> but it's delicious, like insanely delicious. Like Cincinnati, Cincinnati chili is legit. Like, I wish I could get it more often. There's also another restaurant in Cincinnati that sells Cincinnati chili, which is called Gold Star. And I've never had that. And Jacob actually had that today or at some point. And he said that it's pretty much the same, but the cinnamon, there isn't as much cinnamon. And so he said it tastes more like regular chili. So um, he said he prefers Skyline, which if that's the case, I think I would prefer Skyline, too. Okay. I just finished my Cholito Sands uh, Spaghetti. I almost said Sands Cheese, but there was a lot of cheese on that. So now, let's try the one with spaghetti and see which one I like more. Jacob is on team no spaghetti. So let's see... You can see the little noodles in there. From the first bite, I can't really tell because it was mostly the end of the tortilla at the burrito. So it's like all mostly tortilla. So I'll have to take another bite to see which one I like more. Okay. Apparently all that wasn't from the tortilla. It's that the spaghetti is really doughy because, you know, it's dough. And... I agree with Jacob that it does take away from just the flavor of the Cincinnati chili. It makes it more doughy. So I think his assessment is correct. But this one's also really good. If I didn't already have the other one, I would have been raving for this one. So now I've tried a three-way. I've tried the Coney before, which is also really good. And now I've tried this. And I think now I guess all I have left is the new nachos to try. It won't be on this trip, but maybe on the way back north I could swing by and try the nachos or just get another Cholito because that first one was so good. <laughs> like this one's good, but that other one's pretty phenomenal. So I was just looking at my phone for a Skyline Chili logo for my thumbnail and um, whoops, I just lost it. This came up. A Skyline Chili frozen meal is that really a thing does that still exist does anyone know it looks like they also sell the canned chili are those two products still available were they ever really available is this made up i'm going on amazon right now <laughs> and seeing if you could buy skyline chili and <gasps> no kidding wait that's expensive actually i think it's like one of those like how Amazon has private sellers and I learned this when I was looking for space coke and for ketchup chips that are in Canada so like some regional stuff is um hard to get so this is a four pack for $30 I assume that's not the normal price oh what's this one this one looks like it's boxed oh this is their oyster crackers so this is a pack of three of their oyster crackers for $20 on Amazon and then it looks like Skyline Chili um, the microwavable bag not the frozen bag necessarily is um, $30 <laughs> which doesn't seem like a very good deal maybe if I went to a store locally as in Cincinnati I could find it for cheaper yeah, these are pretty expensive. Here's a pack of eight of the cans for $55. <laughs> so that's $3.99 a can. Well, actually, 
$3.99 a can seems like what you would pay in a store, but I don't think I need a pack of eight of those. So does anyone know if they sell this regionally? Or even nationally, maybe this has been in my store forever and I just didn't know. I'm all just like looking here at the different options. Like here you can buy a pack, a six pack of Sky High Chili Hot Sauce. And here I was just going to uh, <laughs> just throw aside the hot sauce that I got from Skyline Chili. People want it. There is demand. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I'm going to head over to the toy store, which is my next video. And you should totally check that out. Um, I also have a cameo and a Patreon. And I think that's it. Um, I have a YouTube, obviously. I have an Instagram and a Facebook, too, since I'm just naming pages that I have. <laughs> so check me out on any of those things. I guess that's it for now. I'm going to go head back out into the 90-degree heat, which I'm not used to since it's like 50 in Rochester currently. So I'm going to go do that and look at some toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.